Hello, everybody, and welcome to another video with yours truly, Michigan England Adventures. So I want to do a really quick little update um, before I got into the fishing clips. Um, it's been a while since I got out here and actually did kind of like a live update. So quickly, I want to say thank you guys so much. We just hit 2,600 subscribers, which is awesome. So this channel is really growing. Thanks to you guys. Thanks for all your support. Um, I'm going to keep the content coming. I don't plan on quitting anytime soon. Um, that being said, we are kind of in this fall transition phase and now we're in like the late fall transition phase, I should say, kind of like pre-ice season here in Southeast Michigan. And while we're waiting for the ice, there's a few different species we can target. So overall the fishing has slowed a lot, but we still have a handful of species. We've got, um, you know, walleye, pike, and of course we have steelhead and trout. So recently I got out there and did a little bit of steelhead fishing, um, trying to break it up from the pike and the walleye a little bit. So, um, you know, keeping things interesting. I managed to get out there uh, a couple days ago and I got a steelhead. Uh, my GoPro died halfway through me recording the fight on video. So that was a little disappointing, but I did get some clips, you know, I'll get a little bit with my GoPro and got some on my phone. So. If the footage changes up a little bit halfway through this, that's why. But anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys, and please enjoy the video. All right, I think I got a, uh, I think this is steelhead, guys. Yeah. He hit a uh, flicker shed, actually. Come on, buddy, I gotta ease him in. All right, guys, so here's my first steelhead of the day got him off a uh, flicker shad actually believe it or not and i was trying to float some beads i got my whole setup right here but i actually broke off and i don't have any more beads with me but this technique they like crankbaits too so good stuff my gopro died so i'm really mad but um here he is pretty thick steelhead Actually, I'm not really prepared to keep any right now. I didn't really think I would get this far and catch one actually. So I'll probably let this guy go. Maybe next time I come out here, I'll uh, plan to keep him. But yeah, nice. I just want to show you guys something. So if you look at these two poles, this pole's literally like, I don't know, it's like less than six foot. Really short pole. It's an Ozark Trail Walmart brand, okay? Now, I had this all set up for a steelhead. This is like my nice, you know, it's a self bend, but it's a, like a ten and a half foot pole. <laughs> you know, I was doing some bead floating, and they didn't want that. I was down here for like two and a half hours, you know, trying to do that. Then I just threw a flicker shad on this like cheap ass combo and that's what they wanted so you don't have to spend a lot of money to steelhead fish guys you can just kind of fish for them like pike or any other fish really but yeah just goes to show gear ain't everything